What's up everyone? This is Ken Tanaka of Wish for Fish, giving you tips, bringing you on adventures, and taking you to the water. In this video, it's going to be a throwback to the original Wish for Fish, where I'm going to be doing a little bit of camping, exploring, and a lot more reviews and tips on gear and stuff like that. Also going to be taking my four-year-old for the first time for a camping and fly fishing adventure. So for those of you that are looking to take your little one, this is a great video for tips on how to take your little one out on an adventure like this and have a good time. So I chose to take them to the Davidson River. It's near Brevard and there's so many things to do there. This area is a fantastic area for a camping fly fishing adventure. You have the Davidson River right there and plenty of campsites, including rustic ones, which is the one that we chose. It's a simple hike in. Matter of fact, there's a parking lot and right there you have the Wildlife Education Center as well as the hatchery. Uh, it's a fun place to take your kid and you could feed these huge trout that they have in there. You could also check out some animals that they have in the local area at the Wildlife Education Center. There's so many other activities to do around the area, including the ranger station that's right there. You have the Looking Glass Rock, you have the Looking Glass Waterfall, and you even have Sliding Rock. And all these places are fantastic and family friendly, and it is a really good time. So one thing that I was not aware of was the difficulty of Looking Glass Rock. I kind of thought it was just like right there. I didn't realize it was a 6.2 mile adventure and uh, it was a little bit difficult for my four-year-old so keep that in mind if you're thinking about looking glass rock. Another great thing is there's plenty of places to eat after you're done camping as well as you could hit up Asheville or Buffard. So I hope you guys enjoy the fly fishing and camping adventure on the Davidson River and I'll see you on the water. We got ham, we got turkey. Ham. Ham? Yeah. Little man is ready. Look at him decked out over here. Yeah. Boom. Look at that. Honeysuckle. There it is. Right. Good. <laughs> yep. There you go. Let's step on the dry parts. Boom. 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 If you have a stream or any kind of water source, this is key, a water filter. And it's easy, you could just hook it up to an Nalgene bottle. This tube goes into this little hole here, that little top there. Um, and then basically you just have this little hose, put this little part in the water, and just start pumping with that, and boom, water. We're in the tent. Yeah. He's got a cup. You know, uh, make sure you keep your kid hydrated. A good way to do it is by keeping it fun. I like these fold-out cups. Kind of makes it like they're doing something, you know. Here you go. Oh. So I really uh, recommend these thermarests. Super small and compact. All you do is you just roll it out. Boom. Mattress. Fairly quick and uh, easy to blow up as well. We are in the search of firewood. Okay, ooh, look at all that wood. Hey, we have made our campground here, right next to the river. Little fire pit going on. What are you doing? Hey, what, what, what are you doing? You're not gonna think, make a fire? What? What? He just said that he likes his puffin better than me. Who gave you that puffin? Puffin. You want to make a fire? Yeah. It's fire time. So, I'm a snow peak guy, I'm using the snow peak as well as um, the top, the burner. It's fire time. This is uh, wax cotton kindling. Yeah, put your shoes on, buddy. That's right, we run our tents, Asian. No shoes in the tents. Want to this down? Let's see, do this. Then you go like this. Open this up like that. 
that, like that, like that. Put the gummy on the shelf. 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 Put the That's called oop. It's called lasagna. Hey, try it. Go out, watch your spoon. What's it called, Sarah? Let's see. Oishi. Oishi? Okay. I'm a bear. 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 Hey! What are you doing there? Hmm. 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 This uh, backpacker's pantry lasagna is actually uh, pretty tasty. I'm not gonna lie. Backpacker's pantry. Oh yeah. So we happened to be camping with some people across the way. Saw them roasting marshmallows and decided to get one. You want a marshmallow? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, here. Boom. Look at that. So, do you like our view? Yeah. It's pretty cool, huh? It's pretty, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. These are the best. Just unrolls like that. Just pull these fibers apart. I like using stuff like this. It's completely waterproof, um, and it'll obviously never run out. Anyway, it's got um, the element right here. And you unscrew this. You have the striker. You just screw this back onto itself. Use the striker and boom. All right, my son's sleeping, so I'm gonna try to get in a little early morning session. So one thing I highly recommend is a mono master. This is usually put into your pockets or your waders, or worst case scenario, thrown into the river. Mono master. Super simple, you just put a little bit of the line in there and then just gobble it up. Boom. And then super simple when you just, it's like a little gross hairbrush at the end. Then you just clean it out. Boom. Look at that. The magnet, baby. The magnet. So what's up everyone? I highly recommend the Davidson River and this area for a campground fly fishing situation. Uh, you could be a serious angler and as you can see, you could just be uh, here with your family. It's a great place. Uh, you could have a campsite right on the bank and you could even catch fish right there uh, next to your campsite. So it's ideal for a simple uh, fly fishing camping trip to go out and there's a lot of hiking trails there's a lot of biking trails um, and you can see it's pretty secluded we did pick uh, a pretty uh, 
a common uh, campsite, so there was a couple other spots, so there are a couple campsites right next to us, but really no big deal. We happen to be next to a school group. Uh, luckily, they're from Greensboro, North Carolina, and it's the Greensboro Day School. Shout out to Greensboro Day School because uh, they were well-mannered and um, they had a lot of respect for uh, you know their neighbors and the campsite, so shout out to those guys. Luckily able to get up before my son, able to get out on the water, uh, caught a couple fish right next to the campsite, literally right there. So today I was using my Douglas Upstream. This is a six piece, this is a three weight, and this is a seven and a half foot. And I'm also using the Able TR. Uh, it's a simple click and pull reel, uh, perfect for a stream like this. So this stream is super simple. And luckily for you, the Davidson River Outfitters is right down the road. So you don't even really have to come with anything. You can get some flies there. And that's what I recommend. Always buy something from your fly shop and then ask for some recommendations. So here's a quick tip. Uh, always be friendly to your fellow anglers. I ran into an angler uh, walking down the stream. I just simply asked him how he was doing and he was like, oh, they're really hitting this thing. And I looked at it and I noticed that the material was very strange. Being a tire, I usually could tell the material and how they tied it right away when I look at it. But um, I just didn't know what the material was. And I was like, huh, that's a very unusual material. And luckily he shared his secret. And his secret is that he Unfortunately, I can't share that recipe because he told me not to. As you could see, you could also just catch fish right off the bank without even getting in the water. So that's really convenient. You don't have to lug around boots and waders and all that kind of stuff. But I highly recommend wet wading this stream. Like I said, you could catch fish from the bank, but you're definitely gonna catch more fish wading. So I highly recommend just wet wading the stream. Never had the breakfast, but we're gonna see how that goes. Kind of like eggs, right? I'm usually down with backpackers pantry. This isn't that great. Edible. My son didn't eat it. Don't recommend it. Lasagna, hit. Huevos rancheros, not so much. One the good thing about this place is the hike in is super short, uh, great for little kids. Uh, it's about a, maybe five, 10 minutes max. So another thing I can't recommend enough is the right gear. So I always wear a quick dry shirt, quick dry pants, quick dry socks, quick dry underwear. Uh, I prefer Exficio underwear. Uh, I have uh, just um, smart wool socks but I also have a quick dry shirt, but most importantly are my pants. And I prefer Kuyu, which is actually a hunting brand, but these pants are phenomenal. Uh, I was actually introduced to them by a friend, Dave Tepper. He had them on and basically uh, we were standing on the platform in Key West. The wind was going and both I had on some Columbia pants, hate to throw you under the bus, and there was also another brand, um, Sims pants, and they were both flapping in the wind, but when I saw my friend with the Kuyu pants on, they did not flap in the wind, so that was a, uh, an eye-opener for me, and I immediately went and bought some Kuyu pants. The ventilation is incredible. Uh, they have tiny holes in the fabric, uh, better than any other pants uh, that I've ever used, so I highly recommend uh, Kuyu pants. Look at the tadpoles, look at that. Turn it into frogs. See, look at the salamander. Look at that big spider. Oh, he's right here. His feet. See, look. Hellbender. Those are big browns. Boom. Wow. That was cool. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. All right. Okay. There you go. That's right. Let's go left. There you go. That's an inchworm. This is what you're imitating on the water right here. Inchworm. Look at this. It's got a white side there. It's kind of 
Whoa! Yeah, you made it. Well, looky what we have here. We have a spring. I don't recommend you doing it from a source that is coming from upstream. You don't know where it's coming from. Obviously, I don't know where this is coming from, but uh, I seriously doubt there's a lot of scat or a dead animal, a carcass, or worst case scenario, somebody upstream uh, going to the bathroom or other stuff. You don't know what's getting in the water. This is um, groundwater. It's coming from the mountain. Basically, the earth is filtering. So. Um, I am pretty certain that there's no Jardia or anything like that. You don't have to worry about stuff like that. But to be safe rather than be sorry, I would uh, highly advise you bring some kind of filtration system, uh, a life pen even or something like that could be simple, or just bring water. But of course, I didn't realize how far this was, so um, we didn't bring any water, so I'm gonna drink this. You wanna to go to the slide? Yeah, so there's another cool thing that you could do. Slide on some rocks. Ready for some barbecue? Yeah? All right. What are you doing? You coloring your hog? Yeah. All right. So after a long couple days hiking and eating dehydrated food, uh, he just decided to get real food. Barbecue. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. Are you ready for this? Yeah. How is food? How's that? Boo? Yeah. Is it yummy? Yeah. Good. I must say this ice cream is pretty awesome. I awesome. Got, <laughs> I got the vanilla with the um, caramel pieces. Oh my god, it's delicious. But, mm. It's probably because I've been in the woods for two days. But. So after a couple days hiking, camping, fishing, rock slides, uh, visitor centers, uh, you name it. Um, I highly recommend uh, Davidson River and this area. There's a lot of stuff to do. As you can see, you could go grab some food and even some ice cream on the way out, which is what we're doing, isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah? So uh, it's always good to be able to be, you know, get out and uh, you know, grab some ice cream or something like that really quickly. Yeah, you can have some. Uh, obviously, it's all about keeping kids happy. So uh, did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Do you want to come back? Yeah. There you go. That says it all right there. So um, if he wants to come back, I think that's a success, right? Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the throwback to the original Wish for Fish with camping and a little bit of fishing and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing a little bit more of that probably, hopefully with the little man. Uh, it seems that he liked it. So, so anything that I mentioned equipment wise, especially the locations in this area, there'll be a link in the description box below. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on the water. What's up everyone? Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please do like, share, or comment below. Take a look at the Wish for Fish website at wishforfish.com to keep up to date with what's going on with Wish for Fish, as well as get some killer discounts, and take a look at some of our upcoming hosted trips. Don't forget to take a look at the Wish for Fish store for some sweet merchandise. If you're on Facebook or Instagram or other forms of social media, give us a follow at Wish for Fish. And most importantly, if you haven't subscribed already, please do because we're constantly updating new footage all the time. So you can do so by clicking this right here. And if you're interested in seeing more, take a look at some of our other videos from this season's playlist. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you on the next.